Hi, my name is Shane Carter. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I posted anything. My cameraman has been on deployment. Who's filming now? That's my son, Chance. Uh, I get a lot of questions on edge geometry. So today I thought I'd cover edge geometry. We're going to have a chopper here that's going to be a test blade, it's roughly two inches wide, nine and seven eighths inches long. And I've already got the profile, the, the bevels ground into it. Uh, from a little over a quarter inch on the spine down to about 40 thousandths on the cutting edge. And we'll go over to the belt sander and I'll rough the cutting edge in. One thing I like to do is always give credit where credit's due. Well, I'm going to show you how to rough this uh, edge geometry in or roll the edge in on this knife. It was taught to me by a gentleman by the name of Reggie Barker. So I'm going to start out with a 100 grit belt and I'm going to slowly rough these bevels in, working on the top of the, the grinder where the belt is slack. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate that back and forth and kind of roll that cutting edge in. Work on one side, turn it around, and I'll work on the other side. I prefer working to where I can see a fine wire edge um, come on that cutting edge. You can see, you can see I'm starting to roll that edge in. It's not flat, it's a rolled edge. We're still fairly thick, probably 20 thousandths on the cutting edge. This is gonna be a chopper, so it's a little bit thicker than I would make a normal hunting knife. You want to use new belts, you want to use sharp belts. We're starting with 100 grit. And you want to feel that edge. You don't want to, you don't want to get that blade, that blade hot or turn it blue. You'll take the hardness out of it. We'll just work that down a little bit more and then we'll switch over to a 220 grit belt. As you can see, this side, this side is rolling in really nice. This side's a little bit steep. I've got to come up the spine just a little bit with this edge. Okay, we've switched over to a 220 grit belt um, and we're going to work right here and just roll that wire edge in. Right there on the tip, you can kind of see. Right there, you can see how that wire edge is starting to roll in. Yep. Wire edge is rolled in on parts of it, not quite all the way. Right there's where I want it to sharpen. Just continually work back and forth to get a nice even wire edge rolled in. Okay, we pretty much got that wire edge rolled in. Now if you film right on that cutting edge, you'll see it fold back towards me. It'll fold up. Mm -hmm. Now 
we'll take it back the other way. We got wire edge going back the other direction. Now it's ready to, now that wire edge is ready to polish off. See that wire edge is just rolling. When you watch a meat cutter work, that's what he's doing is he stands this wire edge up. See how I can push that wire edge with my finger? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to polish the edge off. I'm going to put it on a pretty rigid buffing wheel and I've got some uh, chrome rouge on there. I always work on the buffers turning it away from me. That way if it catches the knife it'll throw it away from me. Buffers are very dangerous and I like to work on the top of them to see what's happening to my cutting edge. And I just want to polish that wire edge off. sharp but we'll just polish it just a little bit more okay I don't have a handle on this knife yet but I want to go ahead and just test it on the rope we just polished the edge on it it shaved hair this is one inch metal hemp rope Manila hemp rope. Okay, I don't have a handle on this knife yet. Uh, it's very hard to hold on to, but I would like to go ahead and cut this rope and show you how sharp it is, uh, even without a handle on it. I should be able to cut this Manila hemp rope free hanging. Zips right through it. We'll put a guard and a handle on this and sand it out a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and chop the two before and uh, bend it here a little bit later in the week. <laughs> 